the Fall Jennies line dropped. And normally I would pick up the entire collection, but I didn't this time. And I will tell you why. Um, the Fall drop included uh, mint chip, uh, Boston cream pie, cookies and cream, and then like a pumpkin cake roll, a cream puff, and like a banana cream pie. So out of the six flavors, I only picked up two. Um, I have previously reviewed mint chip, uh, cookies and cream, and Boston cream pie, so I didn't feel the need to get them again. Uh, even though mint chip, I will say, is like definitely a repurchasable flavor. And I have like a weird thing with bananas where um, depending on the banana-based product, sometimes it gives me horrible stomach cramps. I just wasn't willing to risk it over the ice cream, um, but I know my mom did get that flavor, so I'll have to have her report back and uh, tell me how it is because I don't know if I can do it. So for that reason, I'm only gonna have two ice creams to review for you for the fall line. And the first one that I'm going to do today is cream puff. So the flavor story says, an ode to one of my all time favorite desserts, the giant cream puff. It took months to perfect the unique candy-like single note vanilla that complements the rich egg custard. And a heavy hand of soft pastry flakes lends the flavor and texture of a mega cream puff. This ice cream immediately tops our most popular list every time we release it and is a personal favorite of mine. Okay, um, I, I don't think that I've ever really had a cream puff. Um, I'm not big on like custard fillings, uh, sort of like the Boston cream pie, um, but I do love pastry and I love ice cream. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, the little story or description here says bright candy-like vanilla custard with a pinch of sea salt, toasted pastry flakes nod to the distinct texture of an old world cream puff. And then there's just these like cute little powdered cream puffs all over the pint, very cute. So let's see what we are dealing with today. So I'm just throwing this all over the place. That's nice, all for the love of you. Oh. Ooh, okay, this is giving me churro vibes right, is, uh, right out the gate here. I took the uh, paper topping off and she wasn't kidding when she said she was heavy handed with those pastry flakes. Um, we got some serious flake uh, populace up in here and it's also so cold that it is like steaming in here. Okay, so. There's like a very light uh, vanilla note scent wise. It's not, I'm not getting a lot, um, but there is definitely a scent there. So uh, let's dig into this. We've got pretty good texture going in. I have I really just took this out of the freezer, so I'm impressed. All right, and let's go for first bite. Let's see how it is. Ooh. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I gotta be honest with you guys. The last two flavors I reviewed, Rocket Pop and Mango Cheesecake, um, they were not my favorites out of the Jenny's flavors that I've tried so far. And, um, I ended up giving the mango cheesecake to my mom and I will finish the rocket pop, but it is still in my freezer and I haven't been compelled to go back to it. This, I know I'm not going to have that problem with. <laughs> um, this is really good. So let me get another bite. So properly outline the flavor profile for you. is like the most delicious vanilla base. You do get like a lot of the flakiness of the pastry pieces in there because there's so many. So you are getting that like pastry chew in every bite. And you do pick up like a little bit of that salt too. She's right, especially on the back end. Actually, I'm getting it right now, like toward the back of my mouth. Let's do one more. This is good. Yeah. This is like an elevated vanilla. I would say this is a vanilla with pizzazz. This is a vanilla with panache. This is a vanilla with zhuzh, if you will. Um, and I think it would be like universally crowd pleasing. I do. So for a grade, this guy gets 
seven. I think it's seven out of ten. I would purchase this again. It is really good. Um, it's not a. It's, I don't know what I expected. I don't think I had an expectation in mind for cream puffs. Since again, I don't think I've ever really eaten a cream puff, so I couldn't really conceptualize what like the ice cream would be like. But it's damn good. So, cream puffs, seven out of ten. And uh, that's all I got for you today. So, stay tuned for pumpkin cake roll in the coming weeks. But until then, that's the scoop. Bye.